Hey guys, I'm Andrew Lou, and welcome to my last video. So now I'm really sorry that there wasn't a video yesterday, but basically I felt like terrible. It's really ill. I could pretty much barely speak. Like my throat was killing so much. Um, so I just thought there's no point in making a video where you can barely hear me. So I saved it for today, and basically I'm going to be discussing my experience during the Star Wars Battle Pod which I managed to experience the other day. So the other day I went down to an arcade near where I live which has recently opened, I've never been to it before and we just thought you know what let's go try it out and just having a look around what the machines were and what the games were and that sort of thing and I saw it it's there, the Star Wars Battle Pod. Now it's essentially like a Star Wars flight simulator and essentially I only thought that it was in America like I didn't think it would even come to the UK yet and I was so surprised to see it and I just knew that I had to go on it so went on a few things me and my girlfriend went on you know the normal things you know you claw machines you sort of you're the driving games and that sort of thing went on all that sort of stuff then I went on the Star Wars Battle Pod and I'm pretty proud to say that I technically flew an X-Wing like it was so cool I did the Yavin Death Star mission like the trench run you know obviously from, from A New Hope and it was just so epic to just be controlling an X-Wing in that situation because I've waited for a good game to sort of give you the experience of the trench run I mean the Lego game was actually quite a decent Lego Star Wars in showing that but this this battle pod thing it's just so realistic it's so good now i really do want to play this more so if i go back to the arcade in a couple of weeks or something like that and play it again then i'll be sure definitely to let you guys sort of know how i how i experienced it and i might just do a full review this is more of a just the first impressions because it, i only played on it once so i didn't really get to experience everything and obviously there's all the different missions you know you could do the hoth mission this endor mission is the death star 2 mission all this kind of stuff and I just found it really, really enjoyable, and I'm hoping that the other levels are as good as this one was, really. So back to the actual sort of experience itself and from the level that I played, and I just really enjoyed the sort of atmosphere of it. Like, you sat in this sort of, encased in this sort of dome thing which you climb inside and close the door, so it's really dark, and the only thing you can see is like the screen. Um, so it actually looks like you're looking out of an X-Wing cockpit because literally your whole vision like there's nothing you, you can't see anything apart from the screen because it's like kind of like uh, curved in a similar way to sort of IMAX I guess if that's similar to that but yeah anyway you can that's all you can see and it just feels like you're really there and it's very immersive and even though the seat that you sat in on some simulators it will like move around this one doesn't actually move around it's just you looking and moving looking at the screen and because you can only see the screen it makes it feel like you're actually moving you're actually controlling an x-wing so when you turn left you when you turn left like on the sort of controls you will actually sort of feel like you're going left or if you go right you feel like you're going right up and that sort of thing when, even when you're shooting like the sound effects oh my god they make it so it amazing it's just perfect the tie fighter sounds the x-wing sounds the music oh the music is just perfect it's like the exact same music as from a new hope the actual movie which just it was just amazing like I felt like a little kid again honestly it was on probably one of the best Star Wars related experience I've had in like my entire life it's just to feel like you're behind the sort of cop where you're in the cockpit of the next minute to feel like you're Luke Skywalker and you're flying down the trench and you're trying to dodge all the TIE fighters and Han Solo comes in and takes out Darth Vader and you know it, it spins out and the only like sort of problem that I had with it was not nothing to do with the actual experience itself it's just when it came to shooting the proton torpedoes down the exhaust pole the Death Star I missed and it just was like mission fail and I was like oh I just missed like uh, I know next time I had to do it I think I took too long shooting I should have just fired straight away as soon as it locked on I hesitated a little bit because I was enjoying the experience so much that I forgot I actually need to play the game and try and like finish it 
But um, yeah, even with missing it, it was still such a brilliant experience and I'm definitely going to do it again. And obviously there'll be some gameplay during this video on the screen, it's probably from IGM because that's probably all that I can get. But obviously I don't own any of the clips, I have like a little disclaimer at the bottom, it's obviously all these belong to IGN and any Star Wars related stuff belongs to, you know, like Lucasfilm and Disney and Star Wars and that sort of thing. But anyway guys, I hope you did enjoy this video. Leave a like if you did. Comment on if you think that the Star Wars Battle Pod sounds really cool and if you'd like to try it out or if you've already tried it out, let me know. Subscribe if you enjoy my content in general. I'll see you next time guys. Take care.